Hi and welcome to an Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector Series video. I'm James Moore and today we are looking at the GMI PS500 unit. It's a four gas pumped or diffusion unit. You can switch it during operation, but let's get it started and then we'll check and make sure we got everything set here. To get started, press and hold the right button, power it on, and then we're going to wait for the first screen that pops up after this one. And then we're going to put in left, right, left, right. Here it goes. Left, right, left, right. And if you did it right, this top number here is going to start flashing with an M as well. I don't know if you can see that. Here, let me turn this light up. A little bit, a little bit. There it is. There it goes, right at the top. So if you've done that, you've done it right. If not, uh, press and hold these two buttons together and turn the unit off and then turn it back on and try again. Okay, so now we're on the main menu, and so what we want to do is, is, before we get into going through the menus, let's get our calibration gas and regulator set up. So we have a 0 0.5 LPM regulator, and then calibration gas side, we have a mix of 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 100 parts per million carbon monoxide, 50% LEL methane, 18% oxygen, and this is a recommended mix for this unit. And although you can use any mix for this one, I'll, I'll show you that once we get to the calibration. One thing we're going to check is we're going to make sure that this says uh, this expiration here is before today's date. So we're in January to, uh, February of 2021, and so we're okay now. All right, so let's get this regulator screwed in. Uh, so first step is going to be opening the regulator, just like that. And back it off a little. And then screw it into your cylinder. And once it's screwed in, go ahead and close the regulator valve. And what this does is it makes sure that this space here, if it were closed, there might be some air or some moisture in there, and it might residually go back into the cylinder. And moisture in there combined with hydrogen sulfide means the H2S might fade on you. So opening it up lets it purge the valve going out that way. So it's closed up. Put the calibration tubing on the regulator. There we are. And I don't like going too far past this first bar. Just uh, You can go just about down to the second one, but don't go past that second one there. Uh, otherwise, it becomes a real pain to get this off the regulator. Okay, next step here. When it, this moves you down. This one hits, hits enter, as you can see on your screen. So we're going to move down to calibrate, and then press the, the blue button to confirm. Now, it asks you for a code here. The code is 333. Okay, now we're going to hold this button, the power button, to zero all ranges, it says. Perfect. So it's zeroing right now. And now it's telling us to apply gas. So it's going to go through each sensor one by one. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply our gas mix to the unit. Turn the gas on. And if the alarm bothers you, always just hold your finger over it for a moment. Okay, so while this is reading here, if we press this button, what it will do is it will increment up this the range here. So it's showing 48 right now. Uh, we want it to read 50. It's been on there a good enough length of time, uh, about 45 seconds to a minute. Uh, and this is pretty much stabilized out. So the value isn't going up and down right now. Uh, so we know we're at the point where it's seen most of the gas. So you see how they're, they're just having it went up to 49. So it's probably going to go up the highest it'll go is 49 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the button. We're going to take it up 1 to 50. Perfect. Now I'm going to press the press and hold the right button to accept it. 25 H2S. Good deal. That's all we need. Press and hold to accept it. CO 100. Good deal. Oh, going down a little. Okay, stable. Press and hold to accept it. So now you're seeing something here. Uh, I see how it's going between 99 and 100. You can use your best judgment there. If it's spending mo most of its time on 99, uh, you can press the button once, 
and get it up there to 100. We don't want to press it too much and make it go uh, past the point, then you'll have to go all the way back down. So that's good there. Mostly staying on 100. We'll press and hold. And cal complete. Do we want to save the results? We're going to hold. go ahead and update. Press hold this. Perfect. Now it'll give us our next cal do. And we're going to hold this button to finish. Okay. And now we're done here, so we're going to press and hold this button to get out of this menu. The right button. Now it's reading. Let's go ahead and take the gas off. Turn the gas off. And this will make its way back down. Perfect. So you can see how it has the alarm set here. Uh, that's because those alarms latched. We're going to make sure we acknowledge those. There it goes. Couldn't remember which side to hold. Okay, so to acknowledge those alarms, press and hold this right button. And that'll, tr for a couple seconds, and that'll tell the system that yes, I, I know the alarms have gone off. Okay, now you can see we're back down to zeros for C LEL, zeros for CO, H2S, and 20.9 for oxygen. So now let's go through doing a bump test. I'm going to walk you through that process. So if we had just turned the monitor on, it's in normal reading mode. We just want to bump the unit. On um, one problem right now is that this is pulling through here, and we don't want to we don't want to screw that up with a fixed flow unit. So I'm actually going to turn the pump off by holding this button here. Now that turns the pump off, and it's in diffusion mode. So now we can bump using our fixed flow regulator. You don't need two different ones. Let's go ahead and put the fitting on there. Good. Turn your gas on. Open IV. Gotten the screen into max mode. Go through the normal. Okay, back to normal reading. So now we're doing a bump test. So the bump test is simply you turn the gas on and you let it go into alarm. Make sure all of the alarms are going off. So you have your flashers right here. You can hear your, your horn. And you can see the strobes. So I can I can see the strobes here. I can hear this going off. Uh, this one doesn't have a vibrating alarm, so we don't have to check that. And then we can also see that these values here, uh, they've gone up towards their intended destination. They don't have to read exact, and your test doesn't have to go as long as I'm holding this on here right now. You can do, really do it in about 5 or 10 seconds. You just have to turn the gas on, send the unit into alarm, make sure that all of the sensors have moved, and then turn the gas off, and you're good to go. So I'm going to turn our pump back on. Press and hold here. There, it's trying to acknowledge the alarm still. Twit. Come on now. There it goes. Now we can turn the pump on. So it won't change modes while it's an alarm. So that's something to know about with this unit. But this will all clear itself out. And you can see all the values are dropping back down now. Uh, but that's how you run a bump test for it. If it got a little confusing here with me pressing the button a few times, all that happened was I was cycling screens between min, max, and the standard reading mode. Uh, but if you have any questions or anything's confusing, you know, leave, go ahead and leave a comment. We'll get back to you real quick. Or you can send us an email to support at idealcalibrations.com or give us a call on the phone from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Our number is 734-956-0539. And thank you much. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.